if there is a constituent assembly, then it's recommend. First of all, the word is recommendation, not concurrence. And secondly, that becomes necessary because you, can, if there is a constituent assembly, then you cannot act in vacuo. That was, in my respectful submission, the the textually, because Manat, we must first of all discern legislative intent out of language, and from the language, when the constitution knows or the or the drafting of the constitution, the authors of the constitution knew that there were certain models in which it says, if something is done, then you may exercise a power. Is the president to act, my lord, only to give effect to the desire of the constituent assembly, or is he to receive a recommendation from the constituent assembly? <coughs> and obviously, the compromise was he must receive a recommendation from the constituent assembly, which obviously means if there is one, he must. Secondly, my lord, this very article, and we have all all this is textual. This very article uses two separate expressions. B2 uses the word concurrence. I mean, that's a point which has been already made. And the proviso uses recommendation. Now, if Malad one had put concurrence here, the argument would still remain, but it would have been a much stronger place for the constituent assembly. So while Malad distribution of the fields of legislation in subarticle B of uh, in clause B of subarticle one. was put as concurrence of the government of the state. At the same time, sub-article 3 used the word recommendation. It's not an amendment, it's not this. So one must assume, and this was a article which had internal dissensions and differences. And it was very carefully crafted between the uh, within the uh, committee and within the assembly. There were differing points of view. So, Malad, we must give meaning to every every word of this article. So, the dif difference between concurrence and recommendation, and its framing as a proviso. At two places, again, sub-article 2 says, if the concurrence, so, Malad, this is the very conscious departure from the concurrence, recommendation, consultation, recommendation, concurrence. One would perhaps say the difference is, if you fail to consult, it is not fatal if you fail to obtain a recommendation. If a recommendation is necessary, it is of more serious consequence. Would it be fatal? I don't know. Concurrence, obviously, because concurrence, then your power gets hedged in. And this is all textual. So, Mr. Sarvi, there is one countervailing consideration yes, which yes. we possibly may have to bear in mind. Yes. That where a change in the distribution of legislative power was envisaged. Yes. The provisions spoke of concurrence. Yes. Except in the area which was covered by the instrument of accession. Yes, ma'am. The exercise of the power under the proviso to clause 3 brings about a complete abrogation of status. Correct. Abrogation of 370. Yes. In which case, all the limitations which are even introduced by the earlier provisions of clause of Article 370 are, are lifted. Yes. Including uh, the, the, the concurrence on the distribution of legislative yes. power. Yes. Consultation. 
Yes. Now, could it have been the intent that you require the concurrence for altering the distribution of legislative power or for altering any other provision of the constitution, but for abrogating the article itself, nothing more than a mere recommendation is required. Which Malad drops me, I'm, I'm deeply obliged, Malad, which brings me to the second, the contextual. Power under the proviso is exercised. Yes. Then there is no limitation at all. Absolutely. And that, Malad, brings me to be the contextual. And in fact, that was the direct intent. And I, your Lordship will see it from another point of view. There's another point of view. Till the arrangement is in place, unlike other states, where the constitution sets out legislative powers in the seventh schedule in absolute terms. And you need a very elaborate mechanism to tinker with those uh, seventh schedule. It has to be 50% states voting, etc. Your Lordship knows the difference. Here, there was a political agreement and the whole circumstances, including, as Mr. Anger spells out, the, 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 the specter of uh, the United Nations, which today is, of course, Relevant, but at that time was very relevant. The uh, problems in the state. So there was a agreement which is embodied in B, which has concurrence. But if this led to a situation which ultimately prevented the purpose of 370, the purpose of 370 was not to create a permanent divide within the constitution. And there are lots of material being shown to you. It was a phased integration. I'm going to deal, Manat, Dr. Dhawan has raised a very interesting point of asymmetric federalism, whether that became part of the basic structure. I'm going to read it separately. But the historical material available to a court, and you know, we have, Malad, unlike certain other courts, we have always looked at historical material, especially for articles like this. There was a safety valve in sub Article 3 that if the political Compromise in sub-article 1 fails to achieve the purpose. At any time, it might become necessary to pull the plug. And sub-article 3 is that plug. Now, if one looks at it that way, the whole thing falls in place. We kept... The framers of the constitution kept with the president the power to do away with this special arrangement. 